First up tonight, East Lakeshore Drive in Baton Rouge is known for beautiful homes facing University Lake. Not the profile you'd expect for criminal activity, but the feds say a drug ring was being run from inside one of those homes. News 2's Nick Perlin spoke with neighbors. He's live tonight with their reactions. Sylvia Michael, federal prosecutors have accused six people of being involved with this drug ring that they say was based out of an upscale home for years. Neighbors say there was an unusual amount of traveling by the people who live there. This property on East Lakeshore Drive is little more than an empty lot these days, but this is how it looked in 2019. It was a beautiful 5,600 square foot home, and the feds say it's where a major drug ring was based. It's shocking. I would want to see that in a show. This federal indictment, which was unsealed Monday, spells out the allegations. On Tuesday, the feds announced the arrest of these six people you see highlighted. Prosecutors say Francisco Palma and Brittany Allison lived in the house. An article from the LSU's Daily Reveille in 2016 featured them as the owners of a boutique in town center. Inside the home, prosecutors say they found hundreds of thousands of dollars. It apparently wasn't from their shop, and there were guns all over to protect the cash that was allegedly collected from selling heroin and cocaine. Anissa Hyde says this was shocking news. I want to know who's who like who's getting in trouble for it and what are the things that we're going to do to make sure that these things are not happening around us because that's dangerous. Neighbors who live near the property didn't want to go on camera, but they say the people who lived in that house went out of town a lot. The indictment shows that. It says here Palma and Allison took many trips to Mexico City to bring back cocaine and heroin to the U.S. Hyde says crimes can happen anywhere, even in the nicest of areas. I'm shocked that something like this surfaced and it just goes to show that you don't know, like you really don't know where things could happen and it could be happening right in your backyard in the prettiest neighborhoods. Palma will be in court tomorrow morning. That's when his attorneys will argue that he should be released as the case continues. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Nick Perlin, WBRZ News 2.